Hi there gorgeous! Hope you're having a great day. It's so nice to see you again. In today's video I'm sharing some more pro makeup artist tips with you. These are tips that I had not heard of before making this video and wanted to share them with you because they are really fabulous. If you've happened to miss videos I've done like this in the past I'll have the full playlist linked for you below in the description. You can learn so much from these videos. I know that I have, and I hope that you will find this helpful today. First tip I have to share with you is how to get glowing, radiant skin using only two products. So all you need is a facial oil and a white shimmery or nude shimmery eyeshadow. The oil that I'm using for this example is from Bayo Laboratory. This is their Lotus Squalane Healing Facial Oil. Now, this oil is cruelty-free and vegan. It contains jojoba oil, squalane, which is a naturally occurring substance in the skin, and lotus wax. I did not know this, but lotus wax helps to reduce skin irritation and inflammation. And that's one of the reasons why I love this oil so much is because it's excellent for those of us with sensitive skin and it doesn't have any fragrance to it and it's very lightweight. It blends right in. It doesn't sit there. It doesn't make your skin feel greasy and it's excellent for mixing in with products like your foundation or in the case that I'm about to show you here with eyeshadow. So all you do is you take a little bit of your eyeshadow, mix it in with the oil, and then apply it onto the high points of the face. What I love about doing it this way, especially with this oil in particular, is that it works better than a liquid or cream highlighter, and it will not cake, it won't oxidize, and it will not crease. And it looks absolutely beautiful, doesn't it? I mean, it doesn't look overdone. It looks very natural, and as an oily girl who produces a lot of oil on her own, I still can appreciate a tip like like this because of how luminous my skin looks. And I have to tell you too that I have been using the oil in my skincare routine. I've also mixed it with foundation. It looks beautiful like that. So if you're looking for a new oil to try, by the way, that does not have any artificial coloring in it, when you put it in your hand, it looks like olive oil. I don't know if that came across on camera. I was trying to show that, but I really appreciate that fact about this also. I know that you would really love this. I'm just gonna say it up front. So if you're interested in getting it, I will have it listed and linked for you below in the description box. Another tip I want to share with you that I had never even thought about but makes so much sense is how to get the perfect red shade for your lips. And it actually uses two different color red lipsticks. So all you'll need for this tip is a red lipstick that is cool toned and a red lipstick that is warm toned. So a red lipstick that has more blue tones in it and then a red lipstick that has more orange tones in it. And in the example I'm showing you here, I'm using MAC Ruby Woo, which is a blue toned red lipstick and then MAC Dangerous, which is a more orange toned red lipstick. Now, there are two ways to apply it depending on your own unique undertones. So if you have a more cool complexion, which is what I am, you want to apply the blue-based red lipstick first. So I applied Ruby Woo first all over the lips. And then you want to take the warmer toned red shade, which is the more orangey one, and apply it only to the center of the lips. And this adds such beautiful dimension and nobody really can tell that you're wearing two different lipsticks, but they can tell something is different. And I could really see that after I had applied them that something was different, but it looked gorgeous. And the opposite is true. So if you have a warm complexion, you would want to apply the orangey red lipstick first and then apply the one with blue undertones to the middle of your lips. Try it out. I think you would really be impressed with it much more than you thought you think that you might be. Because I struggle with the orange toned lipsticks. I mean, sometimes they can look really great depending on what I'm wearing on my eyes and whatnot, but they're not my go-to favorites, and I realize now it's because they clash with my undertone. So if that describes you and you have blue undertone lipsticks that haven't really worked that well for you, try it like that. I think you'd really appreciate that tip. Another tip I want to share with you is to apply concealer to the outer corners of your mouth to help give lift. This is along the same lines as that other tip that I learned from Robert Welsh, God bless him, I love him, where he talked about applying concealer to the outer corners of the eyes to make your eyes appear more lifted. And it really does work, by the way, if you've not tried it, you have to try that tip. But if you do apply a little bit of concealer to the outer corners of your mouth and you blend it up, it does provide a little bit of lift to your mouth. It's, it's not like crazy. 
it's it's not in your face it's very subtle but it looks really really nice just be careful with how much you're applying because i think i applied a little bit too much in the example i'm showing you there i'm just saying it but <laughs> if you apply a little bit and you blend it up and you use a little bit of a lighter shade than you traditionally would it can look absolutely amazing another tip let's see what other tips do i have here on my list okay for luminous skin another luminous skin tip for you if you want glowing skin all over take a golden or a white pearly eyeshadow in the example i'm showing you here i'm using max forgery and mix that in with your foundation and apply it to your face again it's a very subtle tip it's not loud but it provides glowing look to the skin especially if you have all matte foundations let's just say that you don't have a dewy finish foundation but you want to make a foundation a little bit more dewy i would recommend mixing it in with a little bit of moisturizer and then adding in a pearly white or a pearly gold eyeshadow and you will have gorgeous results absolutely beautiful for those who struggle with dry skin i mean we're heading into the winter months and i know that when i would go up north in the winter which i don't do anymore but when i would my skin would actually struggle badly against the cold so i can only imagine for those of you who live in colder climates how badly your skin struggles and this is from an oily girl perspective my skin got dried out and really struggled against those cold temperatures. So if you want a very hydrating treatment to try that is completely natural and actually really works, do this. Take an egg yolk, mix it in with one tablespoon extra virgin olive oil, and then apply it on your face. Leave it on for 20 minutes. And this is so hydrating on the skin. It feels really, really good. I mean, I was pretty impressed with it. I, I don't know why we've stopped doing these older beauty methods because they actually work and they do amazing things on your skin so absolutely try it out if that describes you and you're looking for something new and different or maybe you run out of moisturizer i don't know i really really enjoyed this one and i think you would too now for those of us who are testing lipsticks all the time i mean hello something i learned is the best way to test lipstick is to apply it to the inside pad of your finger, not the back of your hand, because the inside pad of your finger more closely resembles your lip color than say the back of your hand would. Now I've also heard, <laughs> should I mention this? I don't know. Yeah, sure, I'll mention it. I mean, you know, I've heard that your nipple color is actually the same color as your lips. Uh, I don't recommend putting lipsticks there maybe. No, don't do that. <laughs> I just got the visual. You could see somebody in the store, right? Going like this. <laughs> Don't do that, okay? <laughs> okay, but no, stick to the inside of your finger. That, that was my whole point, is that? <laughs> forgive me, forgive me. The inside of your finger is actually a, a better representation of your lips than the back of your hands, but just leave it there. If you want your brow product to last longer, apply a primer into your brows and this will help it to extend much further. So if you struggle with your brow product holding on and it won't last and everything you've tried doesn't work, apply your primer into your brows and it will help it to increase in wear time and you won't struggle with fading. I, I'm sorry, I still can't get over that visual. I hope you enjoyed today's video and that you found it helpful or even you just got a laugh out of it, whatever, whatever, whatever the case may be. Thank you so much for being here, for hanging out with my crazy self. You know, I mean, we just have fun here. That's all this is about. Maybe you learned a few things, but at the end of the day, I hope that when you watch my videos, you get a chuckle at least somewhere. So yeah. <laughs> Again, if you're interested in trying out the, the Bayo Laboratory Facial Oil, I'll have that listed and linked for you below in the description box. Great stuff. And I just want to thank you so much for being here, for taking the time to watch. And I truly look forward to seeing you again next time.